Welcome back Thank to the, the Clover Reptiles family. Today we will be building racks for our babies that we are expecting this breeding season, so let's get into it. We're going to put together this VE I-10 hatching rack that we bought from Reptile Basics. Um, we already put this one together, so now we're going to go through the steps on putting this other one together. You know, I have my two helpers here to help me uh, put this together, so let's go. The rack comes in two packages. This is the pack, one package has the bottom, top, and shell, in, shell portions of it, and then the wider package has the sides and the back panels. Um, we're gonna go and unpackage so you guys can see how good, they, how good of a job they do by packing these. So while the honey is cutting the tape open, you know, we're gonna give it, see how well it's packaged. Um, well, we already opened one up, so it's very well packaged, but I want you guys to see how good of a job they do. Packaging, so you guys take a quick look how it looks inside the box. So all the these are this is the top, and then it has all the shelves and the bottom portion. There's foam all around that keeps the corners protected. So like Ava said, this is a 10 out of 10 for the packaging and shipping. We were a little worried about ordering online and having them ship because sometimes stuff comes in broken, but. I gotta say, the one we already put together and this one looks perfect. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, so in this package we have the side and back panels for the baby rack. Ava's gonna give us the rating on the packaging now. Let's see. So, and um, we also have a sticker. It's a crest stick that go, and it's also a 10 out of 10. So, 10 out of 10 for the sticker, and the packaging one was what? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, and why? Because they pack it very neat and they're, and how they pack it, they make sure there's no dents. So there's no dents. You already checked it and make sure there's no dents yes. over there? Okay. All right. So, yeah. So we also got a, here's a little uh, warning. You know, you can prevent fire hazard. Tells you you need a thermostat when using the heat tape. You know, allow, always follow and close your thermostat instructions. And safety tips on how to properly use the rack with the heat tape that it already comes with. So now we're gonna get into the next step of actually putting it together. Putting together this rack is pretty easy. We already did one. Um, so it brings instructions. One recommendation is go through each step of the instruction, familiarize yourself with the steps, and then start building. Um, we already did one, it's so easy that now we don't need it. Um, so it brings screws and it brings a small one square bit, but we're not gonna use it because I already have a longer one that makes it easier to hold the screws. So the first step is, oh, almost forgot. 
You need tubs. Um, to be able to put them at every level, you need to put it. You need to put the tubs in at every level before you put the next shelf to make sure that the shelving is correctly spaced, and then you can pull in and out the tubs in and out. So we're going to need to put that to the side. So we have, and then we have the two side panels that came in the bigger box. So we're going to start with those and the bottom. So you might ask, how do you know what's top and bottom on these side panels? They have little feet on the bottom that, you know, holds to hold up the, the rack. And it also, when, if you have multiple racks like we do, these little feet notch are, um, there's a cutout on the top that fit right in to the next one so you can stack them and they'll be perfectly still. And then also the bottom shelf has these notches on the side. The other shelves, the rest of the shelves do not. So make sure that you use this one for the bottom. And it doesn't matter what side you use, it's the same thing. So here we're grabbing the first screw, put it into the side that has pre drilled holes. I hold both, both ends and drill it slowly. One of the best things is do not fully tighten the screws. Oh. Because if you fully tighten the screws, you will not be able to get the next shelves in. So now move on to the next side. All right, that step is done. Now that you um, have attached the sides and the bottom, you can stand it up. And now that standing up, you can start adding the shelves. Remember, use the bins to space the shelves. Next shelf, you can slide right in. And that's why we don't tighten the screws all the way in until we're done with the whole project. Because you will not be able to slide the, the screws in. As you can see, the bins slide in and out freely without it dragging. So one thing to know also that the bottom shelf has screws in the front and the back. The shelves from in between the bottom and the top only have screws in the front. So here's the first one I built. All right. So one thing I have to tell you guys, 
when you guys, if you go on to Reptile Basics and order these racks, there is one thing, they do not have casters. There is casters on the list where, um, on the page of the racks, but if you read the description, it says not, not recommended for the i10. I think it's some, for some, I, I don't know why, but I didn't buy them. So what I did personally was I got a half inch plywood, cut it to the bottom and attached it to the bottom of, I attached it to the bottom shelf. Bought, cat, uh, bought wheels on Amazon, two inch, you can Google, you know, on Amazon you can put in two inch caster, wheel casters and it'll come up. Um, there's, uh, they're about to be like 14, 15 bucks. So with the plywood, the casters, I was able to attach it and it moves out on wheels. Actually it has locking. Let me unlock it. So now we're gonna grab the second part that we just built and put it on top. That's it. So as you can see, it's together all the way to the top. So, there we go. so two of these make a nice size rack for hatchlings. Um, I'm using the single tubs. Let me bring them up in here. The singles are six per level. So you have you can have six um, hatches on one level. So you know it's ten levels of so sixty per rack. If you're using the singles or these two combined, one hundred twenty have room for one hundred and twenty hatchlings. Um, I I won't have that many, but um, one of the things is when when breeding season is in full effect. It's last year I was looking at them and. There was a time when they were back ordered for about a month or two, if I'm not wrong. So I decided, you know, I haven't, my animals are still in formation actually. So I decided might as well get ready and buy them while they're available. So I bought the racks, I have tubs. Um, I am gonna invest also in the doubles for when, if I have some whole backs, or if I have some animals that are getting too big, some animals, for, some hatchlings that I'm gonna sell that are getting too big for the singles, I can just pull out a single and put them in the double. And it has these little pins that um, holds the bin in place. You know, the hatchling won't be able to push it out and crawl out of there. All right, there we go. Looks good. Let me go over a little bit. So, I'll give it a quick um, build rating, I guess, so unboxing and build rating. Uh, I haven't fully used it, so we're going to do, after the spring season, we're going to do a review on the actual usage and how we, if we really like it or not, and if we're going to continue to get, we're going to continue to use it. So, on the unboxing and packaging, like Ava said, it's a 10 out of 10. Every piece came in perfectly intact, no cracks, no dents, nothing. They did a great job packaging. Um, and then for building, to be able to put it together, also a 10 out of 10. It was pretty simple. Uh, you know, I had the help of my, you, you know, you might need two helpers like I did, but you might be able to put it together. So I had two helpers and we did, I think, between 30 and 40 minutes. Um, but it wasn't hard. You know, it's just 
follow the instructions, slide it in the shelves, and put the, the screws in there. Thank you for watching everybody. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, hit the notification button. It, help, it means a lot to us when you guys are um, making sure that helping us grow the channel. And the more people that watch our channel, hopefully get more information about how to take care of hog noses, you know, the process of breeding from brumation to, you know, next, here in the next about three weeks, they're going to be coming out of brumation. My animals are going to be coming out of brumation. So I'm going to get a video on that also. Stay tuned for that. Make sure, as always, like every video, make sure to go and, you know, follow US Arc, US Arc Florida on all social media. On, they have you, uh, US, Arc Florida, US Arc has YouTube, Instagram, and uh, make sure you follow. They have also a website, the link's in the below. US Arc, I know, has YouTube, uh, Instagram, and a website. So go ahead, go to the website, get a membership for both of them. It's pretty inexpensive. I believe the bronze for US Arc, um, the national US Arc is 30 or $50 for the year for the bronze member. And then it goes up after that. Um, and then for US, uh, US Arc Florida, I don't remember. Um, I got a membership earlier last year. I'm probably up due for it to renewal, but I'll let you guys know. And I'll also put a link in the description for US Arc Florida website. And what I'm telling you to go ahead, follow on social media, go ahead and go on the website and get the membership is because they are nonprofits. And with that money that we, we with our membership and donations that we give them is how they keep their, their organization, organization running. And, you know, fighting and making sure that there's no legislations or local laws that will prevent us from doing what we love. And that's taking care and keeping animals and, you know, if you get into it, breeding animals, these uh, reptiles. Again, thank you. Make sure to like, follow us through all social media. If you have any suggestions or want to see any specific part about taking care of hognosis breeding, leave, this, leave a comment and I'll, I'll look at it and see if we can put a video together. Thanks again for joining us here at Close Reptiles.